Hi, I'm Craig with Data Video. For the last several years, we've helped thousands of Data Video customers with their live streaming events. Most of them have had no problems with their stream since they're streaming on reliable networks. However, we have many other customers that are struggling with their streams because they're streaming on unreliable networks. Perhaps you've experienced pixelated video. Sometimes your live stream keeps pausing or buffering, or even worse, the live stream stops entirely. So what causes the network to be unreliable? Your upload speeds can vary depending on the traffic of your network, or perhaps your internet provider just doesn't provide enough upload bandwidth to properly stream your HD video. It can be frustrating to see these types of issues happen to your live events. If you're having these kind of issues with your stream, maybe it's time to change your streaming protocol. Almost all live streams use RTMP protocol as their way to transport video. RTMP works great on reliable networks, but if there is an interruption on the video stream, RTMP does not transfer the data efficient enough to recover lost data, which is caused by buffering or pixelized video. However, there is a new streaming protocol which most broadcasters have recently discovered called SRT. SRT handles data much faster than RTMP, which allows a more consistent stream on an unreliable network. As you can see here, this allows SRT to deliver live streams more smoothly and without errors, even on a slower and unreliable connection. Now, if you're convinced that SRT might help your future live streams, then you'll need two SRT products, an encoder and a cloud service. Data Video now offers SRT on all our encoders, including our cameras, our portable switchers, and our hardware encoders. All you really need is a SRT cloud service, and we got one. It's called DV Cloud. To help illustrate my point about SRT workflows, let me show you a data video camera to cloud workflow. First, I have a camera and I have the HS1600T Mark II. This has a built-in encoder. And what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna actually, uh, before I start the stream, I'm actually gonna let you know that I'm gonna use a hotspot for my network. It averages about five to six megabits upstream. So it's okay, but it's, I would consider it unreliable for long time streams. So I'm gonna set that here and it's plugged in directly to the 1600T. And I'm going to start my stream here, hold it down for about three seconds until it goes solid red. And then I'm going to walk over here. This is my cloud, represents DV Cloud. This is the interface of DV Cloud. And now, as soon as this goes pink color here, I'm now streaming to my DV Cloud. Now I want to take it cloud to crowd. I'm going to my YouTube channel. Now you can see it's actually playing already in my YouTube channel because I set it up in my DV Cloud in advance. And there you have it, my camera to cloud, my cloud to crowd from Data Video. To learn more about DV Cloud services, you can visit our website at dvcloud.tv. Sign up today. And thanks for watching.